All right, you guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Danny, and today we're up here at Beehive Lake in the North Idaho Selkirk Mountains. Uh, <laughs> I can assure you, when we got here yesterday afternoon, it did not look like this. I think we caught the first snowstorm of 2023, the 2024 season, and it's cold, you know, and we're just trying our best to enjoy it. Right now, we've got a fire going, drinking some coffee, and ultimately just kind of trying to plan out the day. But you guys want to kind of see where the rest of our journey takes us. We're going to start you back down at the trailhead here at Beehive Lake. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. So yeah, so I have no idea what this trip is going to be like as far as weather goes. I read a couple all trails reviews over the last few days and nobody mentioned snow or anything, but the weather forecast on all trails said PM snow showers, snow tomorrow. So I don't know. I don't know if there's gonna be snow at the top already. Brought a shovel just in case. This is gonna be an interesting trip i think it's going to get pretty cold hence my behemoth mega mat by xped for sleeping on hopefully it will provide a lot better insulation because it's got like an r value of 8.7 i think and that's why i brought it so as long as we can stay warm should be okay but really clouded really fogged in right now hoping this afternoon it'll clear up we got kind of a late start intentionally and it's about, oh, 11.30 noon right now. So hoping by the time we get up there around two, three in the afternoon, it'll be clear. Huh. Not sketchy at all. This is like a, <laughs> this is pretty janky. This is like a ladder going over a crevasse on Everest. Lolly, come on, man. We gonna do it? Probably. Let's go. Let's go, come on. Hello, I know. Hello. Oh, yeah.
All right, so we're just stopping for a quick five, get a quick snack, get a little bit of water in. We're about 3.2 miles in on the day and on the trip so far to Beehive Lake. And I believe we're on the last little ascent up this really big like granite slab, granite face, uh, before we actually descend a little bit into Beehive Lake. But the sun came out, it's not too windy, not yet. And it's actually a, kind of turned out to be a pretty beautiful day. Um, it's a lot more clear than I was expecting it to be. So I'm just kind of hoping it lingers on into the rest of the day to the rest of the evening, but it's about two in the afternoon right now. So with it being late October, you guys all know it gets pretty dark, pretty early. So we got to get there. We got to get camp set up and settle in. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can maybe get a fire going tonight for a little added warmth, but uh, we'll just be hanging out here for a few more minutes and then I'll continue on the rest of the way to Beehive Lake. Do you see water? Because I see water. What do you think, dude? Is this camp? Maybe? First item of muy importante. Okay, Beehive Lake, North Idaho, we made it. I think why it's called Beehive Lake, now that I'm actually here, is that that thing kind of looks like a beehive, like a hornet nest, if I had to guess. It kind of looks like the big beehive in Banff National Park, Lake Louise, <sighs> to me. Kind of cool looking. Um, but anyways, to get here, we went 3.7 miles in about three hours and 20 minutes, two hours and 20 of total moving time. Uh, so we made pretty good time, but uh, it's cold. But thankfully there is no snow anywhere to be seen, but based on the forecast and kind of the research that I did to prep for this trip, I have a sneaking hunch that Beehive Lake, myself and Lolly may experience the first snow up here for the 23, 24 season. So uh, yeah, so second order of business after my backpacking chair is we really need to get our camp set up. We need to get hunkered down. I'm hoping we can get a fire started. I wanna be warm tonight. So we'll see how that goes, but we made it. It's pushing four o'clock right now. We don't have a ton of daylight left, so we gotta get to work. So warm and toasty. There you go. Warmer, warmth. So Lolly's getting a little bit cold, I can tell. She's shivering. It's not warm out here. The wind is really, really making it pretty frigid. All she wants to do is snuggle. So I think I'm gonna let her in the tent early with her little dog sleeping bag. There you go and let her kind of lay down and get warm here. Come on, this is yours.
think that is all the daylight we have left for firewood. It's getting dark and it is about 10 to 6. So I'm hoping at least the fire, if we can get it going, I don't know. I'm hoping it'll at least last us till 8 and we're not sitting in the tent all night, all evening. Let's see what we can do here, huh? We cheated and made a fire start just before we came out. I'm hoping this will work. <laughs> Off to a great start. These are really old matches. Okay, so ripping fire going right now. It's nice, it's warm, but the wind's picked up and it is blowing so many sparks <laughs> towards my tent. I was even thinking about it earlier when I set my tent up that it would be far enough away. Ah! <laughs> nope. <laughs> and it's not that I think my tent's gonna catch on fire or anything, but I'm afraid that a spark or two or many could potentially burn holes in the rainfly, <laughs> which isn't the best. So, just something to keep in mind. It's a good fire though, it's warm. Right now, we're just trying to, to get some dinner in. Maybe drink a warm drink and then get into the tent. So, I'm just happy we got a fire tonight. But right now, we're eating the shepherd's pie by Heather's Choice. So, it's actually pretty good. But, I know you guys can't really see it. Take my word for it. All right. This is the first time I've actually sat down and relaxed probably in the last couple of hours between trying to get this fire maintained and started, getting Lolly squared away, me squared away, eating dinner, stoking the fire. It's just kind of been a, a long couple hours, but we just fixed up a little nightcap concoction. What we've got is just some boiled water that we did on the campfire, mixed in with two packets of hot apple cider. And then we've got some rum that we actually, we got it in Jamaica when we uh, went on a cruise a year ago, year and a half ago. We did a cruise to Jamaica and we did this uh, Jamaican rum factory tour I think it's called like Hampton or something, Hampton Rum. And I tell you what guys, this stuff will knock your socks off. I'm drinking it straight up. The tour guide, the Jamaican tour guide would probably laugh at me knowing that I'm mixing it into the apple cider, but I'm just trying to stay warm, man. Woo! These guts are horrible. Go away. Go away, gusts. Okay, so it is about a quarter after nine, and we are in the tent. Surprisingly, we made it this long. I'm just glad we didn't have to burrow ourselves in here at six in the evening. So that fire really helped, but it's been a pretty wild day. Uh, it's definitely cooling down, um, so I'm just hoping we can stay 
fairly warm tonight, but I know I looked like a dork earlier, but I wanted to show you guys my sleeping pad. This is the X-Ped Mega Mat. I've had it for a couple years and I won't say it lightly, but it literally feels like I'm sleeping on like a mattress at home. This thing is so incredibly comfortable and it looked dorky and it was heavy. It's definitely a luxury item, but I am so glad right now that I packed it up here. It's got a huge R value, like I think I said earlier, 8.7 should keep us warm. And yeah, so we will see how tonight goes and I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good morning. Well, welcome to morning of day two here at Beehive Lake. We just got Lolly some kibble. And I put her dog food last night in my ursac. And as I was pulling her food out, I realized there's a hole in there. And as kibble, uh, as kibble was falling out of the bag. And so I kind of got to looking a little bit further into it. Something chewed a hole right through my ear sac. Thought that wasn't supposed to happen. It's not supposed to be possible, right? So, that's not good. So, it's obviously snowing out. I am debating, do we want to hang out here for another day and just kind of kind of lay around? Or do we want to head back down? Don't know. I know you're so cold, huh? <laughs> you're being a trooper, but I don't know. I think we might pack up here and get you out of here. <laughs> you're cold. You're not shivering, but you just want to snuggle. I know. <laughs> That's the proof. <laughs> so you guys, we just kind of been dinking around for about an hour or so. We got a little fire going, which is actually pretty nice. It's warm, but with this weather, I, I checked my forecast on the Garmin. It's uh, supposed to snow quite a bit more, basically all day, all day tomorrow. And tonight it said that there's supposed to be some pretty, pretty big wind gusts. You know, right now it's not too bad because there's, there's no wind. It's really calm and peaceful and it's really nice out here. But I think just for safety reasons and walking down that granite slab that we had to come up, I don't really want to push it. And I think it'd probably be safest and best if we packed up here soon and, and got out of here. So had a little snack, drinking some coffee just to warm up again a little bit more. Um, but then I think we'll be packing up.
but we're gonna get out of here. I don't wanna lose the trail. Even just since this morning, this is quite a bit of snow. We didn't eat enough food. Might be the last ones to camp here for the year, huh? You're ready to go. So let's go. Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, Lal, let's go. Why are you hanging out up there? Oh boy. Come on. Not happening. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're just minutes out from getting back to the trailhead for Beehive Lake. And man, in just a span of 24 hours, a little bit more, this is quite the trip. Um, we went from Pretty bare conditions, normal conditions to getting fully snowed on a couple inches back at camp and it made for a pretty fun time. I was actually really, really happy it kind of did snow and that we were able to do this trip. It's been a, a couple of years since I've been able to do a late season trip. So I enjoyed it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I don't know if we're going to be able to get any more trips in this year. It's late October right now, and who knows what the rest of the year is going to bring. But I do hope to post some more content. Um, but if you guys want to follow along mainly on what we'll be doing here in the coming winter months, be sure to subscribe to our second channel. That's the Idaho Panhandlers. We're currently working on a big renovation, restoration of an old 1975 fiberglass camper, uh, which we're hoping we'll be able to use for just kind of trips like this, base camps, um, just road trips in general, everything in between. But we're kind of working on that over on that channel. So I'll post a link right up here for you guys to check it out and down in the description. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on the next video here on the channel. Thanks for watching.